Hello and welcome back to another Warlords of Draenor video. This time we're going to be having a little bit of a chat about combat reses. So they recently updated the alpha patch notes to include some new information about how they're going to be handled in the next expansion, and it's definitely a large departure from the current, more static way of doing it. So um, yeah, I'll just go through the changes specifically, and then I'll talk about my, my, uh, my own opinions at the end of the video. So then, what did they say? Well, Blizzard said that combat res are massively, massively powerful, and therefore there need to be limitations. I think just about everyone would agree with that. It used to be one combat res per encounter, um, for 10 people, and then three um, combat reses per encounter for a 25 player group. That made quite a lot of sense. Now for flex raids, they actually erred on the side of caution, and they gave every single flex raid a maximum of three combat reses for every single encounter, even if it was a group of 10 players, which now that I think about it is kind of powerful for the 10 man group, so yeah, go abuse that while you can. Anyway, in Warlords of Draenor, the flexible system is going to be a little bit different. Um, basically, um, in the normal mode raids in Warlords of Draenor will be flexible, and they will be as hard as current flex raids. And then heroic raids in Warlords of Draenor will also be flexible, but they will be as hard as current normal raids, and then finally mythic is being added to replace um, heroic. So because normal and heroic raids are going to involve this one to, not one, um, 10 to 25 player, actually I think it's 10 to 30 player system, they're going to need a better, more dynamic way of handling CRs. And they have built a brand new system to do this. Of course, so during a fight, all of your combat um, reses will share a single raid-wide pool that has a number of charges, and this will be visible to everyone on the raid who has a CR, and it'll just be on their action bar, just like a charge of, say, roll on your monk. And what will happen is that um, when you engage your, uh, like a boss, all combat reses in the group will have their cooldown reset to zero, but you will have one raid-wide charge. And then the number of charges will accumulate over time at a rate of one new charge for every 90 divided by the raid size minutes. So, how does that actually translate into reality? Well, a 10 player group will start off with one charge and then get an additional charge every nine minutes. So, basically, you have one for a fight, just like it is now. A 20 player group, though, would start with one charge and then gain another additional charge every 4.5 minutes. And then once a charge is um, yeah, well, once you throw a CR on somebody, it won't actually use up that charge. The charge is only used when someone accepts the, uh, the CR. Now, that just means that no tomfoolery goes on that sort of screws your team out of getting your combat res off, and your raid frames will actually display a debuff on players who have a pending combat res on them. And then, actually, outside of raids, they're just going to behave the exact same way that they do now. So, this is an extremely different system, um, to the current one. And what are my opinions on it? Well... For most fights, it's not going to be a massive change, especially on 10-man. On a 25-man raid, though, things are going to be a bit different because you're going to start with one charge and then on 25, you'll gain an additional charge every 3.6 minutes. So over the duration of the entire fight, you will most likely have the exact same amount of like total um, combat reses available that you do currently. However, if a mistake, say, takes out two players at the very start of the fight, then you will be a little bit less worse off, because right now, at a 25, if you start off with three CRs and maybe at 80% through the boss, two of your players die, well, that's fine, you take them both up, but you have to, you know, okay, you only have one left the rest of the fight. That's, that's true, but now in Warlords, um, if those two people die before the 3.6 minute mark, one of them's going to stay dead. Now, that is at least how I'm reading the situation to be. I could be interpreting that wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. So, um, definitely, definitely interesting. And I think this is actually okay. Um, in a 10-player group, if you lose someone right off the bat, then it's probably just best to wipe. And that is really the, the same in 25, but I guess that if the content isn't heroic in 25, you generally do have a little bit more leeway f um, like for mistakes than in a 10-player group, where really in a 10-player, every single raider matters an extremely large amount. Um, in 25, that's just a little bit diminished because there are 25 people. Um, of course, 25-player raids do have their own challenges in terms of size and like positioning players and all that stuff, but overall, it seems like this is going to balance out the, the additional leeway the 25s had and bring it a little bit more in line with 10-player raids. At least that's how I'm reading it. Now, of course, 
if you lose um, a player at, say, the six-minute mark or the seven-minute mark, you're still going to have plenty of CRs just like normal. It really only affects stuff right off the bat. And I think that overall, it's not going to have much of a gameplay implication other than it's just going to be readable, it's going to make sense, and of course, it's going to scale dynamically with the number of players that are in your raid, so it shouldn't be too over... Like, there shouldn't really be much in the way of breakpoints because it scales linearly with the uh, with an increasing number of players. Overall, that does make sense, and in combination with the other um, changes that they're making, so for an example, just the way that, say, uh, I don't know, Void Zones and a boss would spawn, they are making it so that really breakpoints shouldn't be much of an issue when it comes down to choosing your group. Now, okay, there's probably going to be some little, like, precise mathematical time zone, maybe 13 players is the perfect amount, but in general, I don't think that's going to happen, at all, really. So, definitely very good. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's a different system. I think we need to wait and see how it plays out and how it interacts with boss encounters and just any of the new mechanics that we see in Warlords. Certainly is interesting, though. I'd like to hear what people's opinions are on it. I think overall it just makes sense, but maybe if you're a 25 heroic raider, then you're going to understand things in a little bit more depth than I do, so it'd be really interesting to hear what you have to say. Anyway, that is it for this video. Um, do stay tuned to the channel. There are going to be loads more videos just sort of diving deep into these um, patch notes and the changes, explaining them, giving my opinions and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, hit that subscribe button, etc. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.